We ready? Okay. Welcome back. Today we're going to go over a few different options for uh, bass rigs slash streamer rigs because you could use this for trout also, but mainly it's going to be more about talking about smallmouth bass. We just we just finished filming a video on different type of flies and rigs for that, so this kind of will be in conjunction with that. But um, just wanted to go through a couple things that we pulled off the shelf here in the shop real quick right after we finished that that fly video, just to kind of go over so that people are getting into bass fishing. This may be an option for you. So. Six, seven, eight weights are great for throwing streamers um, in freshwater applications. We probably lean more towards the six and seven weight for trout and bass. Um, thing to kind of think about there, if you're ever gonna throw a weighted line uh, or sinking line as they're called, that may impact which weight you wanna do depending on the grain weight you want for the application of river that you're gonna be fishing or lake or, or whatnot. So kind of keep that in mind when you're buying something because at some point like a six weight's only gonna throw up to a certain grain weight of line before it's just, it's overloaded and it's not gonna perform the way you want to. So if you're gonna throw a heavier grain weight, you may wanna bump up to a seven weight. So today though, for these purposes, we're just gonna talk about the floating lines that we have here in the shop. So we got a six weight and a seven weight floating line here. Both are the tight and long from Scientific Angler. Um, the beauty of this is is it's, it's a very heavy weighted forward part of the head here. So um, I know the sticker on that one is both of them have the sticker here on the front, it's a great example. So you can see this is kind of the running line and then you got the taper up to the body, which is like the fishable portion, what's gonna be on the water most of the time. And then you have this big kind of bullet shaped end that gives you that, that front end load that helps turn over heavier flies, i.e. streamers, things like that, um, that make it in. So that's kind of about the last 15 feet of this head is got that kind of um, big area and then the taper back down to where you attach your leader. So these are fantastic lines. Most of them in the shop have these um, because they do so well with streamers and things like that. Uh, this actual application of this line, this is for fresh water. So this is not a salt water line. I want to make sure I mention that. If you're throwing streamers and things like that in salt water, you need to make sure you get a salt water line. Why is that important? Well, fly lines are temperature sensitive. So a fresh water line usually is for cooler temperatured water. And so it performs better. And what does that mean? Well, it's kind of the bending of the line and how it performs. If you took a saltwater line and threw it in 45 degree water, it's going to stiffen up. It's going to be very stiff. It's not going to throw a nice loop. I've even seen saltwater lines after they get so cold, they break easy um, because the, the polymer that's on the outside of the line is not built for that temperature of water. It's built for that kind of 70 plus water. So kind of keep that in mind when you're buying fly lines for, for stuff like this. If you're going to be using it in a saltwater application and a freshwater application, you may want to have two lines that you use. So something to think about there with those guys. Um, kind of turning over to the rods, we mentioned the six, seven, eight weights. Um, right here I've got a Boost Blue. This is an eight weight. Uh, fantastic rod comes in at that $299 price point. Um, comes in the six, seven, eight weight. So you can get it for all the applications. You can get it with the fighting butt, all that beautiful stuff. Um, it's a great rod for the price point. Uh, we've got a couple guys that, that have these that really like them. I actually have a couple customers that are buddies that, that bought them and they use them a lot. So really good rod for that application. Um, you can fish this um, easily on a pond or lake or, or river or anything like that. If you want to step up a little bit in price point, you can go to the Wave from Scott Fly Rods. Um, this, this one I have here is the seven weight. Uh, Scott's known for having the unsanded finish, so they, they don't sand this and then paint it. This one's painted. Um, what that does is it reduces the weight of the rod because there's not a, a paint on here. And you may say, what's that really matter? Well, the more weight that's on that rod, even if it's a quarter of an ounce or a half ounce or an ounce, after you throw this thing for a thousand times during the day, that ounce adds up quick. You know, every time you throw it, if it's an ounce heavier, that's 16 times makes a pound that you just moved. And you move that over and over and over all day by two o'clock, you're tired. So having a lighter rod does, does make a difference. With that does come a higher price point. This comes in at $675. So a little higher price point than you know the $300 price point. But you do get an American made rod. This is made in Colorado, which is nice where this is made overseas. 
and you just get a little bit finer finishes like like the real seat there you can see how much prettier that is so you know if aesthetics matter to you things like that all the lettering on this rod's um, done by hand um, which is pretty cool that the lady that does this is so consistent on that it's it's really impressive how consistent she is with her lettering uh, especially writing on something that's round <laughs> which and small but these are two great options you know there's some other ones out there you, if you want to jump up even further in price point you could do like a scott sector or centric um in that you know six seven weight type thing uh the orvis recon or helios three those are great rods too so many many things out there that you can jump into but these are two that we just had on the shelf that we thought why not throw them up here talk about them a little bit let you see them if you got questions about any of this stuff feel free to call us come by the shop go to the online store check us out there uh, follow us on facebook instagram all that good stuff we appreciate y'all watching and see you next time